Hello everybody and welcome back to Studs Up. I am Studs and we're back at it with another farm update here. And so right away, what you're probably going to notice is there are alligators over here and there's a silo over over here. And uh, before we jump into it, I just want to say a big thank you for uh, joining me at the stream last night and a shout out for AMB Lego Studios and uh, Juliet W for uh, joining me at the stream yesterday. It was tons of fun. And uh, if you are not getting notified when I stream, make sure to hit that bell down below. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. All right. So basically what we did yesterday in the stream was actually build this silo here. And I think it turned out really cool. And uh, we have uh, some workmen going up on the silo to do some maintenance on it. We have a bunch of uh, hay or straw being uh, pulled on a conveyor belt upward there. And eventually I would like to put a truck down here picking it up. Uh, I do not have that set up yet. I actually need to get uh, one or two base plates to fill in this area here um, in order to flush out the uh, finished uh, farm and uh, and make that look uh, amazing there. But yeah, we have some people doing maintenance on it. We have a conveyor belt system there. We have some foliage around there. The alligator farm. So what I'm saying is these people have alligators and they have an alligator farm an alligator thing yeah and so i would like to do a second part here kind of wall that in finish that up on the second base plate um and then uh connect it up and i'm i'm, I'm actually i don't know what i'm gonna put here in in between there uh that's kind of up in the air right now and i was thinking even doing a like a farmhouse like a, a proper big maybe maybe not even a custom i don't know a farmhouse of some sort i'm thinking um, in order to give that some uh, more character and actually have a place for the people to live. And so that, that's kind of what I'm thinking for uh, that right there. And I don't know if that's going to stay. I don't know. It was a fun idea that I just had, and I was kind of like, you know what, I have some space. But when we maybe start building the farmhouse and I go, you know what, I need more space for that, then I will uh, have to get rid of it, which is, which is fine with me. I'll do a quick little overview of what's going on over here still. Uh, basically nothing changed. I'll just show it off in case you have not seen the previous video. Just that there. And there are some stuff pieces there. But uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen the, the previous video, uh, it's doing really well. So uh, go check that out. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good video on, uh, on what's going on over there. Here's a, a different view of it. Kind of from the lower city, upper city view. Here's it from over at this side. I also want to say here, I had to take the base plates from the uh, food truck uh, lot there. And the food trucks have all been put down below the table. Uh, and I plan on putting those back in uh, the city. I just need some base plates to make that a possibility. Because uh, right now, I do not have the base plates I need to make that that happen um but i think in the future um this could be converted into buildings uh and have kind of a almost circle of uh, uh 16 by 16 you know plates that go around there and make a full uh, uh building and uh this uh set here the uh modular creator three and one there would actually be a perfect building uh to put in you know getting four of those which is not which very, very very expensive but you know if you that's that's kind of what i would go for go for there and the last little update i want to show off here is my uh, residential district. I don't think I've showed this off in any other videos here, but this is just a little residential district. I uh, put three of my houses over here. I put kind of a wall there to separate and kind of end the residential district. Uh, and then there's like a very small sidewalk to separate the road from the houses. And then we have three houses there, some people outside, a lady painting her house. 
and the Hagrid's hut is not on a base plate, but these two share a base plate. Uh, I, I think it looks good for what it is. And there is a lady in her house there. And that's, I think, looking looking pretty good. I also put this uh, back wall up over there with some graffiti on it. Alrighty then, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the thumbs up. Make sure to leave a comment down below if any suggestions for the LEGO City in the future. And if you are new here, make sure to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Studs out.